Why do we have parry in video games? Why is, like, half of the gaming market that's coming out at least recently, why is it all just parry games? Now, I'm gonna just full disclosure right now. I don't like games that have parry. I played through all three Dark Souls games, and I maybe parried four times out of all three of them. I still beat each game, though. So, I mean, I did actually still kind of go through them from software games. But that doesn't mean that I like parrying. Okay, I played Elden Ring. I did, I, I, I parried a few times in that game. But, you know, it's because that parry is actually makes sense to me. But it's games recently, I just don't understand why we have to have all different kinds of parrying. Why does every game have to be about parrying now? Like, we had Metroid Dread... That didn't make any sense. They were just like, what would happen if we put parrying into a platforming game? And that didn't even, that didn't even, I mean, it worked pretty well. But it was still really annoying. <laughs> it was still really annoying. I mean, it was good in Sekiro because that's kind of what Sekiro was based on. I tried to play Sekiro. I s I still am fighting the first giant dude that you're in. I don't even think he's a boss. To be honest with you. I'm really bad at parry games. I don't like them. You think they're cool? I mean, I'm still gonna try to play Wolong Dynasty because... Fuck you, Danny. I d I'm just... Up yours. <laughs> uh, I, I, I'm gonna... I'm gonna definitely get past that first boss. I decided to make this video rather than play the game. And hasn't anybody noticed, they always use a little red light to pop up at the time of which you're supposedly supposed to, like, push the button to, to parry. But it's never when the light kicks on. You have to wait f after for another animation after because they gotta swing at you. It's so annoying. Let me parry when it turns red. Some games are like that. Some games are not. Wolong is not like that. Because you have to wait like a second or two after that little red light comes up and then you can can deflect or parry whatever the hell they call it in that game. And then there's games like Dark Souls where they don't even have a, a, a light to show you. That There's no indication. You just have to wait for them to almost hit you. Which, in my opinion, is the right way to do it. If you're gonna, if you're gonna have it set up to where you have to hit the button right as the animation is going to hit the character, then it makes sense to not have an extra indicator to throw it off, like a little red light that pops up on the character before it decides to hit them. I don't understand why they gotta do that. That is the primary reason why I hate Perry. <laughs> because there's this weird indicator that pops up at the wrong time. Why? If it's gonna pop up, pop it up at the time of which I have to push the button to parry. That makes more sense. Some games do that. Some don't. That's the part I hate. I just... Be consistent. That's all I'm asking. Anyways, that's gonna be the end of this video. Go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. Because, you know, it would give Perry the opportunity to actually have some, like, notoriety in his life. He's just kind of like bouncing around everywhere. He doesn't know what he's doing. And I hope... I hope they stop making parry games. I hope that... I hope that we can at least get some new... Ideas. Rather than just trying to copy Dark Souls. Because, let's be real. Nobody does it better than From Software. Okay? Let's move on to new stuff. Anyways, have a, have a, have a, have a good one.